Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. First of all, we'd like to thank you all for the support you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make content on mental health and self-help more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that. So thanks again. Now, let's begin. Have you ever felt so unhappy that it seems to infiltrate every aspect of your life? This type of unhappiness can be described as having an aching soul you may think of the soul as the spiritual part of who you are, the internal essence of your being. The emotional pain you suffer from can sometimes be so intense that you can feel your soul ache. So here are eight things that make your soul ache. Number one, having to keep a dark secret. Have you ever kept a secret from someone you loved? Maybe it's a lie you have to keep up with or a gossip you've heard about but can't tell in fear it would hurt your friends. According to a 2019 Scientific American article, keeping secrets is bad for your level of happiness and physical health because the burden of keeping secrets and staying quiet about them can weigh on you. Depending on the secret, the stress from it may end up harming your overall well-being. Two, lacking confidence and self-assurance. Do you sometimes feel like you're not good enough? A lack of confidence can become problematic when it starts to affect every aspect of your life. Maybe you lost a promotion to someone else because they spoke up about their ideas and you didn't. This feeling that you're not enough may become so deep that it affects your soul. Number three, unrequited love. Have you ever loved someone who didn't love you back? When they don't reciprocate your feelings, you may feel depressed and desperate to change your circumstances. This pain of being powerless to do anything about your situation may hurt so much that you feel it in your soul. Number four, chronic exhaustion. Have you ever felt truly and utterly spent? You may be overworked or haven't slept well lately. Maybe it's mental exhaustion from anxiety, uncertainty, or fear. Whether physical or mental, this type of exhaustion where you don't get the energy, sleep, or mental peace you need can develop into an ache in your soul. Number five, having to act or appear a certain way. Have you ever tried to fit in with a certain group who you had little in common with? Maybe you tried hanging out with the popular kids in your school, or you had to suck up to management at work. Whatever the case, it can be exhausting and soul aching to need to keep up a certain persona in front of others. It may feel like you're constantly walking on eggshells and are unable to relax in your own body. Number six, being misunderstood. Have you felt isolated or sad when no one seems to understand what you're going through? Human connection and a sense of understanding may be more important than you might realize. Mutual understanding and care is significant and without it, you may end up with the soul aching sensation of being misunderstood and alone in your thoughts and feelings. Number seven, a disorganized environment. Are your things always scattered everywhere? Spending too long in a place or situation that's chaotic and disorganized can take a toll on you. It may be the stress of not knowing where things are or feeling uncomfortable in your environment. And while it's easy to say, just tidy up, it can be difficult, especially those who are struggling with their mental health, to keep their rooms or houses clean. This can turn into a cycle, since a disorganized environment may only serve to worsen their symptoms. And number eight, Wasted potential. Have you ever found yourself saying, today could have been great if only I'd done this, or I could have been more successful if only I'd done that? It's a particular type of ache that can remind you of what you haven't done or achieved. Feeling like you can never be enough or amount to anything may be another reason why your soul aches. But can I tell you a secret? You are enough now, and it's never too late to start. Do you relate to any of the signs mentioned here? Tell us about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell icon for more Psych2Go content. All the references used are also added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.